Welcome back to Countdown to Camp, where we go through all 20 Detroit Lions games, including the playoffs, leading up to the 20th of July, which would be 20 days until the start of training camp, which is this Saturday. We have reached the conclusion of the regular season as the Detroit Lions have secured the NFC North, have also secured the third spot, and essentially have nothing to play for our last game at home against the Minnesota Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings are eliminated from playoff contention, if I'm not mistaken. So it's really nothing to quote-unquote play for for both teams. And we lose two guys, two critical guys in this game, man. One of them was Khalif Raymond. The other one was Sam Laporta. I was at this game. Shout-out to my guy, JBL. Hooked your boy up with the ticket. Um, it was it was. It was a great experience, man. Great experience. We pretty much knew we were going to play the Rams at this point, uh, but we lost Sam Laporta and Khalif Raymond. Khalif Raymond's gone, missed the entire playoff run. I think he was a critical component to the playoffs. I think if we have him, we we possibly beat the San Francisco 49ers. He's not – he is a guy that can bring so much more. Backfield stuff, deep balls, over the middle. We, we, we missed him. And when Sam Laporta went out, we all thought it was over from the way that that injury looked. And everybody was ready to come at Dan Campbell. But without further ado, man, let's get it going. This is the final week of the regular season. The Detroit Lions are hosting the Minnesota Vikings. And I think that <laughs> Minnesota is back to Mullins being quarterback. The weapons all over the field. Let's see which one Goff chooses on third and six. It is a tight end Laporta who is defended well by Josh Mateus. It was really and no point defense for like literally the Lions could have played. Good spiraling punt. Back to the five goes Kali Freeman. Kali Freeman. I don't think this is the play he gets hurt. to the 45 and takes it all the way back. Okay, so I will say this. I take that back. The Detroit Lions did have something to play for. A win now. They have equaled their highest win total of the season. Had they actually won the game against Dallas, right now they would be 12-4 and four with the ability to have their best record ever at 13 and 4 with the with the win today. So there was absolutely something to play for. Trying to put the finishing touches from the 48 yard line. Field position flip with that return. Goff looking up top. Let's it rip. Amon Ross St. Brown is loose and down the sideline. Amon Ross St. Brown. I think this is where he scores. Catch of the year. Quarterbacks they've been leaning on this deep. Victim on Goff. Wide open. Man, I remember this like it was yesterday. I remember this, bro, like, I remember these plays like it was yesterday. Sitting in the... Times you will do this, but watch Sam Laporta right here. Stadium. He actually goes to the ground. I love that. That really sells it to Josh McCullough. Yeah, that was a, that was a design. That 87. whole thing was a design. Here's pressure and a sack. Jack Campbell on the blitz gets there to Mullins. Let's go, Jack. First down Big year three for you, man. I'm sorry, year two. Goff loads up. Let's it rip. Man open. Perfect throw. Let's go. Raymond. They said he stepped out. Spot him out of bounds yep. inside the five. We missed Four that tremendous. Five years, pretty much just as a return man. The key guy is a receiver here. Here's a toss. Here's Gibbs. Touchdown. Why is playing with house money at this point? Kill him. I mean, just watch these guys out here, and then you've got James Mitchell coming in motion to pick up Josh Metellus. Cameron Bynum is fighting to get off Sam Laporta. And nine of those 12 guys have been acquired in the last three years with that new regime. Ty Chandler on a toss on first down, has a hole, and has run. his best game of the day, 14 yards. C.J. Gardner-Johnson is back this game. I, th I, think he, I think he's out there. Yep. Is he? Toss it up there. Johnny Munn has Ooh. Ooh. On third and 30. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was third and 30. You have got to be kidding, bro. So they com they completed a fourth, a third and 27, and a third and 30. Two weeks apart. Man, stop. Ah! Hutch again. 
And so check this out. They said that was a sack. I'm like, what are you talking about? I can't believe Aiden Hutchinson tackled Justin Jefferson. He will. Big player of Boo Boo. There's a beauty. Powell watches it bounce inside the 10. You cannot walk it down there. Where's the flag at, bro? Ball is now Where's loose. the flag at? You pushed them, bro. Lions down it inside the 10. They're going to spot it at the 1. Spam controlled fury. Maybe a little controlled fury from that group. In the flats, Oliver. His That's second catch, and it's a big gainer out to the 25-yard line. That's a good he play. He doesn't have to like it. Play action. He, ooh, ooh. Ah. Ate him Take up. Hutch again. Woo! Bro, this we was They're teeing off against the these guys. It's Gibbs. All on that. Daniel Hunter. Daniel Hunter. How we miss you, bro. Back at the top <laughs> of his game the last you should be on this team. Season. Healthy again, dominant mm. again. Minnesota still with an outside shot at getting into the playoffs. Okay, so they weren't eliminated yet. They needed a bunt. They needed to win this game and then, like, the <laughs> everything to go right. That ability to just maintain possession, don't make those critical mistakes. That's what he has to get rid of. Out of the backfield comes Chandler. Anzalone waits for him. Basically, Chandler like every other so NFC team that, that was ahead of them needed to lose. Anzalone's a good sideline to sideline linebacker. Hutch again was eating them up. Fifth in the last two games. He said, call me a bus one more time. Hits call again. me a bus one more time. Need either in New Orleans or a Tampa Bay loss. In all at times of what he does. Justin looked like he was checked field. out, man. Talk about a classy guy and a great person. Holy cow, he's the whole package. Ty Chandler, room off the left side. Big play for Ty Chandler. And he was killing us. And crashing to the 38. It's play action. Is somebody Nobody open immediately. Goff on the move and a strike for people. I really think. Let's go, Donovan. Where you been, Donovan? Donovan About time, bro. You better step. You look like Josh. You better step up, bro. Step up. In his base formations with the defense. There goes Skipper in motion. It's Montgomery. It is. Touchdown. Every time, every time Dan Skipper came out, man, we, we cheered. And they were report as eligible and all. It was kind of cool, Harrison man. Smith and David Montgomery meeting, you know, in the hole for the touchdown, oh. and that, that's one of your better Whoa. safeties. Came into the day with a shot. He's about seven. They play now. or a boo boo. Trying to become just the sixth duo in NFL history to reach a thousand yards in a year. Almost. Kane Wangu to the twenty-seven. Ooh, or a smash. They're trying to throw for it. Mullins flushed off his Hutch should have had another one. He should have had another one. That should have went to Hutch. That, all that work was done by Hutch. He had two people on him, too. It's a pass. It's a deep ball. It's Jefferson for the touchdown. Bill Dorr was. Justin Jefferson has the Vikings. Justin looked checked out, man. He just he just don't look the same. Kendall Vildor for a 38-yard score. You know, on all the other ones on the fourth downs, it's been just traditional runs. Man, that was and the beginning of Vildor. <laughs> hey, you know, well, I, am, I can't be mad at you, Vildor. You ain't even did. supposed to be playing. Down the sideline, this is a score. He scores. Brown in a foot race. Eyes on the end zone. Cuts it back. St. Brown is all the way. Touchdown, Detroit. Beautiful. Man, we needed that too, bro. Because the Vikings just won't go away. They just will not go away. But you, you want to be 100%. You want to feel 100%. And <laughs> you've just been grinding at it. I don't know what a Caleb Evans is doing. Obviously, a blown coverage. You thought you had help over the top. It looked like Andrew Booth that got That fool had 15 yards of, and still scored. Field. We saw a similar play like that <laughs> earlier in the game that didn't go as far for a touchdown. But it was pass. a huge explosive play. And again... The sneaky ability of the, of this team, this offense, when you've got the mentality of Dan Campbell and you know just kind of the Shut tight up, end Moose. position and, and rough and tumble, and we're building it around the offensive line. The weapons that they have. Rams are one of those sneaky teams too. Right? Shut I mean, up. Kind of that competitive rebuild this year, and then all of a sudden at the end, they're they're viable.
Mullins has Jefferson. With and Justin was like, the Lions territory. I'm still here. Have Puka Nakua or Cooper Cup coming in here next week. Mullins now wants it all with Addison. Touchdown. Hey, Addison. A strike right hey, back. Addison. Stop it with the drinking, bruh, and driving. What's wrong with you, Addison? What's wrong with you, man? That's the sec speeding last year. DUI suspicion this year. Stop it, bro. Addison. They just would not go away. To Addison. And it's again a one score game. And I wish I could show you that it's a double move or or something unique, but it's Ooh, not. Cam I mean, was like, wait up. Hold on, wait a minute. Don't them. leave me here, man. I'm supposed to be the and number I don't one. Understand Cam Sutton sitting on that Bruh, with no Cam. safety help over the top. <laughs> hey, and, and Cam Sutton again, is we, trash. You know, the interceptions. Wow. We talk about that courage in the pocket. He ain't even within five in yards. And, and then trip at the end. Metellus coming in the blitz. Gibbs picks him up. Goff on the move, throws a game. I see you working, Goff. James Mitchell. He couldn't catch it last week, but he caught that one. That was a big one. His second yards. catch of the season. Third and six. Goff. Yeah. In trouble in six. Back at the 21 yard line. I'm Daniel Hunter. <laughs> I think that was the only sack. How did Neil going to use golf to get up? You see that? Actually, with an important field goal here, makes it a two-score game. Blitz. Mullins hit as he throws and picks it off. Okay, Cam, that mud was a gimme. Sutton on the return. That mud was a gimme. Don't get up like you did nothing because you didn't. It's away from the finishing touches. Hey, Mullins is like, you get a pick, and you get a pick. <laughs> <laughs> Third down and five for Mullins and the Vikings loft it right to the And you get a pick. <laughs> he, okay, he was playing. In his first game since week two. See, we need pick. Justin Simmons back there. That He's brother was like, you get a pick, and you wins. get a pick. Another box checked. What is next for Dan Campbell and the Lions? They head to the playoffs for the first time in seven years, where they'll look for their first playoff win since 1991. That's right. That's right, and you already know what time it is. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. That's right. Next week, next week, we've got the Lions in their first playoff game in seven years, like you heard. The last time the Lions, and this is their first playoff game at Ford Field ever, ever. They played on the road in Dallas. They played on the road in New Orleans in 2011. 2011, and, and then Dallas in 2014, and then their last playoff appearance was the – I think they were the sixth seed, and they played the still the Legion of Boom um, Seattle Seahawks. So we got next week. The regular season is over. The Lions end at 12-5, and five. should have been 13-4, and four, but here we go. And, and tomorrow we will be looking at Matthew Stafford coming back to Detroit for the first time since he was traded. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.